morning. Today's topic is countertop surfaces. So welcome, if you're new, this is Decisions with Danny. We are filming this series here in our home, home remodel. We're in the bathroom today, though, working on our, our kitchen. Uh, the series is designed for you if you are considering remodeling your home or um, are in the midst of it and you want to connect with someone. We're just sharing a little glimpse of what the process is like and most importantly, the type of decisions that you will face if you choose to do this and just the sheer number of the volume of decisions. So today we're going to focus on countertops. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what your choices are, the pros and cons of the two basic types. And at the end of this, I'll tell you a little bit about what we chose and why, and uh, because a viewer of ours suggested it, we'll recommend some local sources. So let's jump right in. Before we start, I just want to remind you that if you're considering selling your home or you want some advice on what to put in to get the maximum value out when you do sell, as you make these kind of decisions to update your home, give us a call. It really depends on your situation. We advise clients on this sort of thing all the time. To keep it simple today, we'll talk about the two main types of countertop surface options. You've got natural stone and you've got engineered or man-made products. So of the natural stone, that includes granite, it includes quartzite, marble, and there's a number of options. They've historically been very expensive, but a lot of the options have come down in price as supply has increased and the popularity of the engineered products has changed. Um, so you might be wondering what's trending. Let's talk about quartz. Very, very popular right now. Um, it's been on the rise for quite some time and quartz is a great option for many reasons. Quartz is an engineered product that contains up to 93% um, quartz particles and minerals that are then um, molded into a slab. It is not an actual slab of quartz. So let's talk about what makes it so awesome. Quartz came about as a more adaptable and more durable alternative to granite and some of the natural stones. What that means is that it's um, stain resistant, scratch resistant, and it does not need to be sealed. Quartz is available in a ton of options. A lot of them are now mimicking very realistically the look of marble and some of the other uh, countertops, whether it's cement look or um, et cetera. So you can see here, this is what the veining looks like on some of the man-made quartzes. Um, and it's just, there's, there's a ton of options. There's also different brands, a ton of companies make them. This is Silestone. This is the Arizona Tile version of uh, Della Terra. That's their brand. There's Cambria. Um, I could go on and on. Um, there's also some other engineered countertops called Neolith and Dekton and all kinds of stuff. But for the most part, that's definitely a benefit of the variety that you're getting and the, the way they've um, come to become more realistic. The third benefit of quartz is that it's uniform, which means that you know what you're getting. Um, every slab is produced exactly the same, and when it comes to making decisions, you don't have to go and select the slab. You know exactly what you're gonna get. So for example, this is actually a floor tile, a porcelain floor tile, but just to show you an example, um, they're produced exactly the same. When you pick a natural stone, um, you don't know what you're going to get, and if you're picking a stone for your countertop, you're going to want to go possibly to the slab yard and select the exact stone that's going on your counter. So the quartzes are definitely what's trending now. Uh, they've been on the rise for pop in popularity for quite some time, but if you notice even in um, high-end homes, you go to uh, new builds, new construction, model homes, you're starting to notice it more often. Um, you notice it in different styles, um, and, it, and it works with a variety of looks. So it really, really is a great option. If you go to a, a place like Arizona Tile or any of the places and you ask them what do people want, what are they coming in asking about, it's definitely quartz, um, but there's still a very, very big population that wants a natural stone. And it all depends on the look that you're going for and that you want to live with if you're remodeling your home. You might be wondering what we selected. Well, we'll tell you. So in the kitchen, we actually selected a natural stone. Uh, we selected it for the overall look that we're going for. Some of the natural stones have a little bit more character, a little bit more uniqueness. Um, and for that style reason, um, we chose it. We tend to gravitate towards the natural um, elements. So um, for example, when we did our floors recently, even though the uh, wood-like tile and the porcelain floors are amazing and super practical, we actually opted for an actual wood floor. 
So to go with that look and the way we, we lean, that's why we chose a natural stone for the kitchen. For the bathroom, we actually chose a quartz. Um, and again, that's for uh, the reasons of practicality. Um, we originally were looking at marbles and for a countertop, it's just not practical for us. Um, there's spilling, you don't wanna have to worry about stains and marble in particular is very porous. Um, so that wouldn't work. And um, we chose a, uh, we chose a quartz for the uniformity of it. Um, like I said before, uh, you don't have to hand select a, a particular slab. You know exactly what you're getting. And this way, um, it's going to work with the floor. We actually selected a marble floor, which is going to have a lot of movement, a lot of character. We didn't want anything competing with it. So for that reason, that's another reason that quartz is a great option uh, when it comes to countertops. You know exactly what you're getting. It's very predictable. It's durable. It's practical. And that's the way we're going to go. Just a reminder, if you're updating your home for you, don't necessarily worry about what's trending. It should be beautiful to you, because you're gonna look at it, and it should be practical for you and your needs. So if you live in Arizona, where do you go to get the stuff? So my favorite place that I would like to recommend is go to the Stone Collection as a starter. If you haven't been there, it is just beautiful. They have every style, the most magnificent, beautiful natural stones, a lot of choices for um, quartz and man-made stones. It's just a great starting point to get an education and even just take a road trip. It is beautiful in there. They're very knowledgeable. They'll answer all your questions about quartz countertops and more. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, Dinah know, are you team natural stone or are you team engineered products? Drop a line, let us know what you would choose if you were doing your countertops or maybe you're in the midst of it and you did choose it. Let us know what you'd like and why. Definitely let us know what else you want to hear about next. We hope you're finding this interesting, useful, entertaining, a great distraction for whatever's going on uh, in 2020. And thank you for watching. Danny Matasinko, this is Decisions with Danny. Oh, and there's more. Stay tuned.